Hello, my name is John Florence, and I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing here at Zima Software. In this demonstration, we will be reviewing Chronicle with Standard Reports. Standard Reports is our base module, meaning it's required with every Chronicle installation. I'm very excited to show you what our reports have to offer, so let's jump in. Throughout this demonstration, you will see the standard feature set that comes available with Zima Chronicle, as well as see how intuitive and user-friendly the software is. What you are currently looking at is the login screen to the software. You may have noticed I'm currently accessing the software using Internet Explorer. You can use a web browser, such as Internet Explorer to access the software, or you can download our Chronicle desktop tool. This installs the software as a client on your PC. This is available for both Windows and Mac. I'm going to go ahead and log into the software as an administrator, which gives me full access to all the users and groups and report information. On the left hand side is my Chronicle menu. Under reports we can view call details in cradle to grave, run reports, schedule reports, and manage our call cost profiles. Let's go ahead and take a look at the 60 standard reports that come available with Zima Chronicle. On the left hand side you can see a list of all of those available reports. Up along the top you have the search option to find the reports that you're looking for a little easier as well as the filter by tag options. For example, if you're looking for the account code reports, you can just simply select account codes and it will show you the available reports within the software. The tags include account code reports, agent, which are your extensions on the phone system, call costing if you want to bill back by users or departments, call direction, such as inbound, outbound, and internal calls, caller ID, external numbers, such as the customer phone number, external party, the caller ID information as well or other details that we receive from the carrier, group information, list of calls, so detailed call reports, your local numbers, which are the numbers customers dial to receive your business, all the different standard reports as well as system reports such as 911 calls or abandoned calls for the entire system, tag reports, time interval, and trunk reports. Let's go ahead and run an agent report, which again is your extension report. The software is very easy to use and it's very intuitive. As you click on each of the reports, on the right hand side, you're going to see a summary or an example of what the report looks like before you run the report. This is very useful so that way you don't have to spend time running all the different types of reports just to see what values are on the report. So for example, in this report you can see I'm going to look at inbound calls, outbound calls, internal calls, it's going to add them up in a total, calls answered, missed, total, and average talking duration. If your business is more particularly looking for just inbound calls, you may want to just look at the inbound summary and you'll notice the values on this report are slightly different. This is going to focus just on inbound calls, but it's going to show you additional information such as percentages, ringing time, average ringing time, and things like that. No two reports are the same, and that's why there's over 60 standard reports, so you can find the report that best fits your business needs. I'm going to go ahead and run the agent call summary. To run a report, it is very simple. You just need to fill out this information down here in the bottom right hand corner. The first thing I select is the time frame. By default, when I select a day or time, it's going to run for all 24 hours out of the week. So if I wanted to run it for the entire week here, it's going to run for all 24 hours out of every day I selected. If I want to change that and if I want to run this for just 8 to 5 or I want to see just Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I can do that by selecting the advanced tab and I can adjust the hours, I can create shifts, I can look at specific days of the week or again specific hours out of the day. For this demonstration I'm going to just leave it all 24 hours out of the day. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as the week selected but again you can select any time period that you want as long as Chronicle has been logging data. Next, I need to select my agents or my extensions because this is an agent call summary report. There are two ways to select your agents, what we call our roles as well as users. Let me first explain again the users. Again, you can search for your users by their name, extension number, or a range, or you can select the users one at a time. Now, if you're a fairly large organization, you may not want to select each user one at a time. This is time consuming and can be a little tedious. So what you have as an option are what are called roles. This is groupings of users. So that way whenever you want to run a report on the same groups of users, you can just simply select that role. 
And you'll see roles throughout the demonstration, and I'll explain more in detail why roles matters. But let's go ahead and select the appointments group, which has about 65 users in total as part of that group. I'll go ahead and hit OK. Then with all of Chronicle reports, you can add charts to the reports. You get to pick and choose which charts go with which values on every single report. So on this report, I have my values, and then I can do line charts, pie charts, or bar charts. Again, you can pick and choose, and you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, you can put them side by side. It's up to you. You can then run the reports in four different formats. By default, it runs in a PDF format. But can I, I can hit this drop down menu and select Excel spreadsheet, HTML, or CSV. I'll go ahead and stick with PDF report and then hit run report. There you saw, I ran that for a week and again on about 65 different users. So it ran fairly quickly for the entire week. Up at the top, I get a nice summary. So it puts the summary at the top of the report. So I can see for all of the agents, they had 3,416 calls. I can see the total inbound, outbound, internal calls, again, all the different values on this report. And then I can see that by each of the extensions that I see within the report. Okay, and if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, I'll see my different charts and graphs. Okay, as I mentioned, there are a lot of different types of reports. So now, maybe the next thing you want to see is rather than each call broken out by agent, maybe you want to group those calls by groups or by hours out of the day, such as a time interval. I really like time interval reports because this is going to show you your peak call times. When are you the busiest? When do you have more availability? And I'll go ahead and stick with the inbound call performance. I run this report the exact same way I ran the agent call performance. I select my date and time. Again, we'll pick on the same week, all 24 hours out of the day. The next thing I get to select, because this is a time interval report, is my time period. How do I want this displayed on the report? I can do hours out of the day, minutes out of the hour, months of the year, days of the week, days of the month. Again, a lot of different time options. I'll go ahead and stick with hours out of the day. I can now run this by my groups out of my phone system. So I'll go ahead and select the groups and the users and groups are directly pulled from the phone system. So you don't have to manually add those to Chronicle. It's gonna pull that directly from the phone system. I'll select my group and again, I could do multiple groups if I wish. Hit okay. I can add charts. This time, let's go ahead and just do an abandon and a line chart. Make that a little bigger and run report. So now I can see my information broken out by hours out of the day. Again, I get my summary in the top right hand corner, but then I can see that down along the bottom. I can see the specific hours out of the day and instantly I can see I'm a little bit busier in the afternoon. Starting around two o'clock, I really take a spike in calls. And during the three o'clock hour, I had a large number of abandoned calls, 27% in fact, well, I can now see why I had so many abandoned calls. My average abandoned wait time was two minutes and 18 seconds, but yet I'm only getting to these calls about every minute. And then again, I can see how quickly I get to those calls. Big portion of those calls are being answered after the minute. And I can see the longest call waited to be answered. Okay. And again, we have our line chart at the bottom. Now there are a lot of different types of reports available within Chronicle. But the nice thing about the software is you can pick and choose and find the reports that you want. But if ever you have questions about the reports, maybe you don't know of how you had that many abandoned calls and you want to verify the call data. Well, you could run different reports such as a detailed report, which is going to show each call line by line. But you also have access to what we call cradle to grave. And this is exactly what it sounds like. I like to refer to this as a master report because this is going to show you the details of every single call and every event in that call. So I could run it for the same week. I'll just go ahead and pick on a day here and hit execute. We'll come back to the filter tool. Here I have my cradle to grave details. And as I mentioned, this is going to show me every single detail and every single event of each call. However, what I'm currently looking at is a summary view. And along the top, I can see my column header. So I can see the call info, which contains a unique call ID for every single call, the direction of the call, if it was inbound, outbound, and internal, the total call duration, the calling party, the receiving party, the caller ID name and number, as long as you receive that from the carrier, the location of the call, 
and if it went to any particular group, and of course the date and time. But if I want to see, how did this call get to Mario Kelly at extension 1182? How did it get to the appointments group? Well, I can expand that call and see every single detail as it happened. And this is why I love Cradle to Grave. This call came in on the auto attendant. And it went to the main auto attendant, and they were in there for about 50 seconds. They selected the appointments group where it rang for six seconds. Mario Kelly then picked up the call and talked for two minutes and five seconds. He then put the call on park, and then Cynthia Hart picked up the call and talked for two minutes and 23 seconds. And this is where it gets a little interesting. She then transferred the call back to the appointments group where it rang for 11 seconds, and then Mario Kelly picked the call up again. So this is the power of Chronicle. You can see exactly what's happening. Now in the reports, it's going to give credit to Mario for answering this call, as well as Cynthia Hart. And it's going to show their appropriate talking times. And for Mario, it's going to add up the two talking times. But in the summary table, it's still only going to count this as one call, keeping your data accurate. And you can see this for every single call detail. And I can expand all of the calls. I can search for call information. So if I'm looking for a particular customer, I can search for their phone number. So I could come in here and enter 555-2135 if that's the phone number I'm looking for. And this customer maybe was upset they waited on hold or queue too long. Well, now I can see what happened. Oh yeah, they came into the main auto attendant. They select the appointments group. Oh, and it queued up for almost four minutes. And then an agent became available and it was Mario and he picked up the call and talked for a minute and 24 seconds. So as you can see, you have a lot of call details. But if you don't want to look at every single call, that's where the cradle to grave filter comes into play. You can filter based off of specific information that you're looking for. So if I want to look at just the calls for a particular phone number or a particular agent or group, I can do that. So let's go ahead and look at the abandoned calls for the appointments group. I'll go ahead and select group appointments, hit OK, scroll down to the bottom, and is the call abandoned? true. So this is going to filter out all the calls that don't meet that criteria. And this is the details that showed up on the report. And I can expand this and now I can see what was happening. I can validate the data that I received on the report and I can see all of the calls. Yeah, I'm having those calls go abandoned. They're not waiting very long. They're, some of these calls are only waiting a few seconds in the queue, but technically they are hanging up. So that is the power of Cradle to Grave. And again, you can filter based off pretty much any detail you want as it relates to the phone system. Now, once you find the reports that you want, you can come in and run them manually like I showed earlier. You can star the reports, making them your favorites. So every time you log in, it's going to put your starred reports up at the top. You can add your own tags. I could right click and create my own tags so I can find my reports very easily that way as well. But you can also schedule the reports to run automatically. So maybe this abandoned calls report, I really like this report. I now want to receive this every week or every day. It's up to you. You just simply right click and schedule the report. And you can have the reports run three different ways. You can have them emailed to as many email addresses as you want, just separate with a comma. You can email a link rather than the actual file if you want to do that. You can save it to the directory or a shared folder. You can have it printed. And then again, you can select the four different formats. And these reports can be scheduled as frequently as, in, as often as you would like. You can have them run hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. It's really up to you. And you can schedule all the different types of reports. Okay. One of the other hidden features within Chronicle Standard Reports is emergency call notification. As I mentioned, we can report on 911 calls or whatever your local emergency number is. But you can also receive instant notifications for those 911 calls. Available within the software is alerts and triggers. And there are a bunch of standard alerts and triggers, but one of those is 911 calls. So if an agent within your organization calls 911, you can receive an alert instantly. And that alert can come three different ways via a pop screen message, an email, or an SMS text. And you can also add the location of those calls. So if you have multiple buildings, multiple floors, or you want to see the office room, the office number of those, you can add that under the system settings. And you can add those emergency locations. 
You can also add additional emergency numbers. So if you want to be notified, if ever someone calls, let's say for instance, the security help desk or the police department, and you want to add additional phone numbers to the Chronicle list, you can do that under the system settings. Let me go ahead and show you an example of what this looks like on a desktop notification if someone calls 911 instantly. Here you can see the 911 emergency pop screen notification. On the right hand side I can see Rebecca Thatcher, extension 258, just dial 911 and I can actually see she is still connected to the emergency dispatch because right here I see the start time. If she had already hung up, I would see the end time displayed. Down along the bottom I can see again she dialed 911 and I can see she is located at the main site, second floor. Once the call is over, you can also run those 911 calls within Chronicall. The last thing I'm going to review is the user accounts. Chronicall comes with an unlimited amount of logins, sometimes known as supervisor licenses, to the software. There are three different account levels. Administrator has full access to all of the software and users. Manager has full access to all of the users and groups, but doesn't have access to the admin system settings. And then user can have restricted access. You can restrict them which users they're able to see, groups, reports, and if they can schedule reports. To edit user access is very simple. Along the top here you will see your different options. I can again give them partial access or no access to Cradle to Grave. I can do the same thing under reports. This time maybe I want to do partial access and I can select reports which they can run as well as which groups they have access to, as well as which users. Once I have set up all my user accounts and access, I can simply save those and they can access the software via Internet Explorer or the Chronicle desktop tool. I want to thank you for watching this demonstration of Chronicle with standard reports. As you saw, I only went over a few of the many reports Chronicle has to offer. If you have any questions about our reports or would like to learn more, please contact your local Zima reseller or give us a call today.